Let's take a look at an example. So our problem here tells us or asks us, what is the area of a rectangle which has a length of eight meters and a width of six meters? So I have a diagram here of a rectangle and we'll label that to help us see what we calculate here for our area. So we're looking for area. It tells us that it has a length of eight meters, so I'm going to label this long side here eight meters, and we know this, this one's eight meters as well. And then it has a width of six meters, so this width here will be labeled as six meters. And we know that our formula for area is that we multiply the length times the width. So in this case, it's going to be eight times six, which equals 48. Now we know that we're, when we're working with something that has a measurement, we always have to label our answer with the units of measure from our problem. So I would see here that I have meters. I would make sure that I would write my meters. And since I'm doing an area problem and we're finding the area of the space here inside of our two-dimensional figure, our two-dimensional shape of a rectangle here, I have to make sure that I indicate that this isn't just meters, it's meters squared or square meters for this area inside of here. So the answer to our problem of finding the area of a rectangle that measures eight by six is that the area equals 48 square meters or 48 meters squared. If the base is equal to the height, the rectangle is called a square. To find the area of a square, you need to know the length of only one side of the square because all four sides are equal. This also means that if we know the length of a side, we can calculate the area by multiplying that value by itself, also known as squaring. Let's take a look at an example of finding the area of a square shape. So we have our example here and it tells us, our problem tells us that Farmer Brown's horse lives in a square pen that is 100 meters wide. So as soon as the problem tells us that it's a square, we know that all four sides are equal in measurement, 100 meters. How many square meters of space does the horse have to roam? So this problem is asking us to find the area of the square, the amount of space inside of this square. And so we know that the formula for finding the area is the same for a square as it is for a rectangle. The, the formula for finding the area is that we multiply the base times the height or the length times the width. And so in this problem, we are going to multiply 100 meters times 100 meters. So we multiply 100 times 100, which is 10,000. And then we have to make sure that our units are in meters squared or square meters. Another important concept to understand about area is that the areas of two rectangles or squares can be added together to find the area of a bigger rectangle or square. So let's look at this example here in which we need to find the area. And we wanna find the area here of this bigger rectangle. And so we can use the information that we have about this small square here and this small rectangle here. We can find the area of each of them and then add those two areas together. So in this case, we have our small square right here that's one meter by one meter. And so multiplying one times one equals one. And so we know that the area of this square here is one square meter or one meter squared. 
And then this rectangle here we can see is 2 meters by 1 meter. And so we know that to find the area of this small rectangle here, we simply multiply 2 times 1, which equals 2, and this is 2 meters squared for this area. So now to find the area of the larger rectangle, we simply add those two areas together. So we can add 1 square meter plus 2 square meters to give us 3 square meters. And the area of this larger rectangle is 3 square meters or 3 meters squared. This addition of areas is an important concept to understand. You will be using this to find the areas of complex shapes.